Hello everyone, welcome back to Steam Code. In this video, I'll be going over content scripts and how to use them in your extension. So a content script is basically a part of your extension that runs in the context of a particular web page. And it allows you to manipulate the elements within that web page. Um, whereas a service worker is a part of your extension that that allows you to do things that do not involve the web page and the service worker is not able to access the web page or change anything that's on it so here i have my manifest file and if you want to know how to create the manifest file and and uh, load up your extension check out the video i've linked in the description that goes over how to just create a basic extension but in this tutorial i won't go over that i'll assume you already know how to do all that but inside of our manifest.json file the way I have created a content script is I have the key content underscore scripts and then these three keys within the array. So first is matches. For matches, it, it specifies what URLs this script is going to run on. So say you only want it to run on uh, New York Times and you'd specify the, the New York Times URL. So HTTP colon forward slash forward slash and and then the url that you'd like but for the purposes of this video i want to run on all urls so you can specify that with this all underscore urls the next thing you need is run at so the run at specifies when this content script is going to run and so there are three there are three different times the content script can run first is document start this corresponds to when the the web page is still loading there's document end this is when the web page has finished loading but all resources may all resources such as like scripts and images may still be loading and then lastly is document idle which is the one we have selected here that corresponds to when the document and all of its resources such as scripts or images or what have you have all completed running so this content script will only run after all of that is completed because i've specified document idle at the run at key and then lastly we have js and so this js key just specifies the js files that we're going to be using within this content script you can specify cs file css files uh countless other files if you want but for the purposes of this video all we're going to do is specify the js file and so the js file is content.js and i have that open right here so just create that within the same directory or or navigate to it from from this declaration so now within content.js we're able to manipulate the web page uh, in ways that you can't do with the service worker so say you want to log something to the console it's really as simple as saying console.log and then we can say hello world now we're going to save that and then navigate over to our extensions page update and then I'm just going to go to my github and so if I if I say go to my mastermind github and then press F12 to open up the console as you can see hello world has been logged to the console and then you can also change how the web page looks so one way to do that is by changing the background color so we can say document dot body dot style dot background color is equal to blue and so if we navigate back to our extensions page and update the extension and then we reload the web page as you can see now the background of our page is blue and so there are multiple different things you can do if you want to modify your web page using the extension and many extensions implement content scripts one of the most basic one of the most fundamental things you need to know how to do when you're creating your own extension and so i hope you enjoyed the video this has just been a very brief very basic overview of how to add content scripts to your javascript extension or to your chrome extension and in further tutorials i'll go over how to add pop-ups how to add uh, background service workers 
uh, into more. I'll go into more depth with those concepts. With the, with those concepts, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Check out our GitHub, Patreon in the description and the video I mentioned earlier. That's within the description as well. And I will see you guys next time.